Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to our presentation on market price prediction. Today we will be discussing how we uh, develop a machine learning model to forecast market trends and predict the price and quantities of commodities for future months. Uh, our main goal for this project was to create a reliable time series machine learning models. This model help forecasting uh, market trends based on vast data allowing stakeholders to make informed decision about production, recruitment, pricing, and uh, resource detail, uh, resource allocation. Uh, did, uh, let's uh, take a look at the data we used. Our data set includes survival columns, mark like market, month, year, quantity, price minimum, price maximum, price mode, state, city, and date. Each column provides initial information about uh, the market and commodities. Uh, the first step in our project was data pre-processing. Uh, we have imported uh, for the necessary libraries uh, and loaded our data sets. Uh, we then uh, cleared the data set the data by cover, converting dates, uh, handling uh, missing values and duplicates and encoding categorical variables. Uh, we, uh, we also resample the data uh, to a monthly frequency for consistency uh, like uh, this uh, this uh, uh, next we move uh, on the exploratory data analysis or ETA uh, here we plotted the price trends uh, over time uh, including minimum maximum and uh, uh, more prices uh, more prices uh, we also analyzed the quantity for uh, community and uh, trade over time to identify any noticeable pattern. In the slides, uh, we performed uh, a more detailed analysis. Uh, we comp uh, decomposed the quantity data into trends, seasonal, and residual components uh, to understanding underlying patterns. We also create a scatter plot uh, to visualize the relationship between quantity and different prices matrices additional we used z score to detect uh, nominals in the quantity data After EDA, we focused on feature engineering. We create new features like uh, le like lagged uh, variables and uh, rolling statistics for quantity and price mode. We also added seasonal indicators based on months and uh, quarter. Finally, we ensured a uh, no missing values by dropping the uh, rows with an uh, For uh, model uh, selection and training, uh, we uh, we split our data into training and testing sets. We we trained three different models: uh, Arima, Sarima, and LSTM. Each model uh, we has its strength, and we aim to find the best one for our prediction tasks. Module evolution. Uh, evaluating our models we was crucial we used a mean absolute error mean square error and a root mean square error to assess the performance here are the result for each model this helped us understand which model was most accurate for predicting community quantities Uh, here we uh, here you can see the comparison uh, between the actual and predicted quantities for Sarima, uh, Arima, and LSTM models. Virtualizing these results make it clear how well each model performed and helps uh, us identify the best one of our needs. Uh, 
uh, in conclusion our project uh, successfully developed a model to predict market trends and community price uh, this tool is very val valuable for stakeholders uh, to make a uh, better decision moving forward we can further improving the model uh, and expand uh, its applications uh, to other markets and communities thank you for your attention we hope you found um, our presentation informative now we would uh, love to hear my, uh, any questions you may have and discuss further details please feel free to ask